my bullet journaling friends welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is yuna and i create journaling and lifestyle videos for today's video we will be setting up for the month of december now i don't know if you guys can tell but i always have a different setup process for almost every plan with me videos and that's because i'm still figuring out the right setup process that would make our lives easier but still very creative so with that said, let's proceed with setting up for the next month. Starting you guys off in my Procreate app, here is the draft drawing of what I want my cover page to look like. As you can see, I have here is a quick sketch of a woodland friend that is in deep in the forest. And what inspired me to create this spread are the awful fires that has been happening recently. Like the Amazon burning this year, or the most recent which was at the Northern South, Wa South Wales or Queensland, Australia, where over half of the koala species has been swept off by a huge fire. It's so very tragic how innocent creatures dies or gets their homes destroyed just because of our doings. Yes, us humans, I really do mean that because we are basically the cause of the climate changing, us and our pollution, our garbage, we all brought that into our earth. And now innocent creatures are paying for it and I guess this is just my small token of paying respect to our woodland fence that has left us. Okay, before this video gets more depressing, which is not really my purpose whatsoever, I just really want everyone or whoever is watching or listening to this video to really think of our day-to-day -day actions in life and how it's affecting innocent creatures that is also living and is trying to survive this earth just like us. I guess that already explains my whole theme for this month. Now, going back, as always, after drawing it on my Procreate app, I will then now paste it or export it onto my GoodNotes app where my actual journal is. And in here, I'll be able to rearrange it to however I find it fit. Now for my monthly spread, I also did a very simple look. I created a drawing that shows that we are now more in deep into the forest. A bunch of trees at both sides of the page and my monthly stapled into the middle of the page. Now, I can't give out the exact size for the boxes that I created since I didn't measure it exactly. I just drew in a big enough box that will that I'll be able to fit my daily doodles in. I added a white background in every box and of course letting out my inner Amanda Ratchley, gotta insert some drop shadows there as well. And that's pretty much completes my December monthly spread.
And for the last two, I'll be creating it on my GoodNotes app since there will be less drawings for these pages. Let's start off with my new things a day page. In my new things a day page, I created a new concept which is instead of writing it down to fully remember something, I opted for pasting in a photo of the particular new things that I will be experiencing that day. Basically, I just added in a bunch of Polaroids to stand as base of what my new things I'll be that I'll be experiencing that day. It's basically that saying, um, a picture is worth more than a thousand words. And that's pretty much my new things a day page. I just added in or wrote in a title for that page at the right side. And for the final page, which is my habit tracker, I'll be making it into my usual collage type. I usually add in a quote page at the other side, but for now, since the since it is December, I opted for a YouTube page for my Vlogmas videos. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this is not this is me not promising that I'll be able to post every day, but I've always wanted to create Vlogmas type videos just like Zoella's. But yeah, hopefully I do make use of this spread. <laughs> Anyways, for my actual habit tracker, I was actually too ambitious at first and added quite a lot of trackers. But I did came to my senses since we are going to be traveling for this month. So I might not be able to fill in that last few boxes. Anyways, that was a quick fix and now this is my typical collage type spread and I think it turned out pretty nice. I was still able to stick with the theme and yeah, that's it. That's my final page for this month's spread. I hope you guys learned something out of it and I guess there is nothing more to say but enjoy this quick flip through. you might be wondering why hasn't the video ended <laughs> well it came to my senses that maybe a lot of you guys don't have the procreate app on your ipads or probably don't use an ipad the journal which has always been the biggest concern in this channel well i have something for all of you which is a quick setup of my paper planner or my metanoia as per what i us usually call it with the exact spreads that I created on my iPad and to show you guys that whatever I do on my iPad, you can easily recreate it into your paper journals. Now that's it. That's pretty much it. Hopefully this will be an easier way for me to help you guys with this creative process. 
um tag me on instagram for any recreations that you guys do thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos in the future and click the tiny bell button to be notified whenever my next upload an advanced merry christmas to all of you and i can't wait to chat with you guys at the comment section down below so do let me know what is your christmas theme for this year thank you guys for watching bye